Hi and welcome to 12 Volt Planet TV. My name is Paul and today we'll be having a look at two different methods for charging a second battery in your vehicle. These two methods are the voltage sensitive relay and the battery to battery charger. Let's start with what these two products do. Both VSRs and battery to battery chargers allow you to charge a second battery whilst the engine is running by using power from the vehicle's alternator. They do this by connecting your starter and secondary battery together once the alternator is producing a charging voltage. Because they only connect the two batteries together when your engine is running and disconnect them when the engine stops, you can't drain your starter battery by using a leisure battery. A VSR is simply a clever relay designed to connect and disconnect at certain voltage levels. They monitor the voltage at the connection terminals and when it reaches about 13.7 volts or above, it will connect the two batteries together and when the voltage drops back to 12.8 volts or below, it will disconnect them. As an alternator typically charges at over 14 volts, but a battery typically produces only around 12.6 volts at rest, these levels ensure that they only connect the batteries once a charging voltage is detected and disconnect them once the charging voltage is removed. VSRs are relatively cheap, simple to install and very easy to replace should a fault occur. No modifications are needed to the electronics of the vehicle, no connection to the alternator is required, and they'll protect your starter battery from being discharged by the secondary battery. Wiring in a VSR is straightforward as you can see in this diagram. For safety, it's important to remember to fuse the cables close to the batteries at either end with appropriately rated fuses that are below the current rating of the cable. VSRs have been around for quite a few years now, are well proven and are very widely used. However, they do have a downside, which is that they are not compatible with vehicles that have smart or intelligent alternators, as found in the majority of modern engines that meet the Euro 5 or 6 emission standard. This is because the alternator output voltage fluctuates greatly and is often below the level needed to connect a VSR, meaning that for significant parts of your journey, the alternator won't be charging your second battery. This is where the battery to battery charger is needed instead. These work in conjunction with the smart alternator and increase or reduce the voltage output as required, allowing you to charge a second battery all the time the engine is running. They're easy to install with no ECU programming or complicated wiring required. You just connect to your starter and secondary batteries as you would with a VSR. And just like a VSR, they only connect the batteries when the engine is running and keep your batteries separated when the engine is off so you can't drain a starter battery. They also have a multi-stage charge profile, just like a mains battery charger, so will charge your second battery faster and more fully than a standalone alternator. In fact, you can still get the benefits of faster and more complete charging by using a battery to battery charger with older vehicles, as they work just as well with traditional alternators. They have a fast charge rate, offer 100% charging, work with all alternator types and with all types of battery chemistry. To install a battery to battery charger, you simply have a positive coming in from the starter battery, and a positive going out to the second battery, together with a negative cable from the unit. Cable sizes and fuse ratings will be specified in the user's manual, along with instructions on how to set up the charger for your battery. So which is best? Well, it depends on what you're after and what vehicle you're fitting it to, but generally, if you have an older vehicle, then a VSR will be suitable for most applications. Whereas if you have a newer vehicle with a Euro 5 or 6 spec engine, then you'll need to use a battery to battery charger. Hopefully you now have a better idea of what the differences between the two are, but if you need further help or advice, please contact us. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos in the future.